US B-52 bombers in Romania may help Ukraine, it can strike targets in Russia. Military expert, in a historic first for NATO, air operations and the probable air challenge to the Kremlin, a pair of US Air Force B-52 heavy bombers landed on Sunday at the Mihail Kigalnichanu air base in eastern Romania. The route of flight taken by the American long-range strike aircraft paralleled almost the entire eastern frontier of NATO territory from the Barents Sea north of Finland to the Black Sea. Although remaining in international airspace, the US heavies made a provocative close pass of the Kola Peninsula and a giant airbase used by Russia for bomber strikes against Ukraine. It was the first time B-52H heavy bombers had ever landed in Romania, a US Air Force statement said. The last time the Stratofortress bombers had been present in airspace proximate to the Black Sea was in August 2023. Valery Ryabik, Ukrainian military expert, development director of Defense Express Media and Consulting Company, believes that the arrival of the US B-52 strategic bombers in Romania signals Washington's readiness to handle security issues in the region. He shared this opinion on Espresso TV. Stationing US B-52 bombers in Romania is a historic move. It is especially important for Romania, which is becoming a crucial part of NATO's eastern defences and ensuring security in the region's airspace, Ryabik said. The expert noted that B-52 bombers can strike targets in Russia from thousands of kilometres away. The presence of B-52 bombers in Romania shows the US is ready to take on strategic tasks in the region. These bombers, which can also carry nuclear weapons, represent a significant development, especially given the ongoing Russian-Ukrainian war. Their deployment might suggest to Russia that the U.S. still has strong capabilities. The range of these bombers is enough to threaten targets in Russia from several thousand kilometers away, he added. The B-52H is a Cold War era aircraft originally designed to drop bombs on strategic targets. The Pentagon has continually upgraded the aircraft. In a conflict against a near-peer opponent like Russia, U.S. Air Force planners would probably use B-52s as a mobile platform to launch precision-guided cruise missiles from outside the range of shore-based air defences. Anti-aircraft gunners of the Ukrainian Armed Forces 110th Separate Motorized Brigade have shot down another Russian Su-25 in Pokrovsky direction of eastern Donetsk region, Ukrainian telegram channels reported on Tuesday. Operational Strategic Group of Troops, Kortitsia, reported that the Su-25 attempted to fire at the positions of the Ukrainian Defense Forces units in the eastern Donetsk region. This was the second time in the past few days that Ukrainian troops destroyed a Russian Su-25. It is worth emphasizing that anti-aircraft gunners from a separate mechanized brigade named after General Mark Bazruko shot down a Russian Su-25 attack aircraft on July 19. The aircraft was destroyed in the steppes of the Ukraine's Donbass region. Thanks to the accuracy and professionalism of Ukrainian anti-aircraft gunners, Russian aviation has decreased by one combat aircraft, a Ukrainian telegram channel wrote, while reporting the downing of Russian Su-25. Две тысячи двадцать четвертого року позиція ракета пішла за цілю. Горить. Я бачу, що літак горить. Є підбили. Давай уходим. Що піза стрілян була? Ну, тарілки це офіцерська була. О, зато пострілю целе. Тарілки пили, да. Тепленькая, да? А, ну прохладненькая, это хорошо. Бокалы разложились, блядь.